Hi friends, welcome to Tiny Paws Productions. I'm Skye, your Paw Patrol pup with the pink helicopter. Today we're going to do a super cool science experiment called the Colour Walking Adventure. It's like a rainbow race and we're going to learn how colours move and mix. Are you ready pups? Ready Sky? let's do this. Awesome! This experiment is all about capillary action. That's a big word, so let's say it together, nice and slow. Capillary action. In America, they pronounce it capillary, and that sounds funny. <laughs> capillary or capillary action is how water can climb up things, like a superhero. We're going to use our favourite colours to see it happen. Let's meet the team and their colours. Hey everybody, I'm Ryder and I like red, blue and white. Like my ATV. Hmm, I wonder what happens when red and blue mix together. Let's find out. I'm Chase and my favourite colour is blue. Like my police car. I'm Marshall and I like red, like my fire truck. <laughs> Rubble on the double and I dig yellow like my bulldozer. Yum, it's like cheese. Zoom is ready, dude. I love orange, like a sunset over the ocean. I'm Rocky and my favourite colour is green like my recycling truck. Reuse it, don't lose it. And I'm Sky with pink. Since pink isn't in our experiment today, I get to be the leader. Let's fly into science. For this experiment, we're going to need six cups. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's pretty good counting. Well done. We'll also need some dye to colour the water. Here we have blue, red and yellow. These three colours are the primary colours and we're going to use them, mix them together and see what other colours will make. We'll also need some water and some strips of paper towel. So let's get everything set up and ready to go. First we set our cups up in a circle and then we need to fill three cups halfway up with water. Every second one. Here we go. Now comes the fun bit, adding the dye to the water. We've got some towels down underneath the cups to make sure we don't stain anything because food colouring can stain stuff. First up is yellow, here we go. Next it's Chase's favourite blue. And now for Marshall's favourite, red. And the last thing we need for our experiment is six strips of paper towel folded in half and placed in between the glasses. And now we place the paper towels in between each cup. Like that. So one end in there and the other end in there. Good job. 
I'm going to do the blue one, one end in the blue, and the other end in the other cup over here. Good job! Red in there, and in there. Okay friends, let's learn about our experiment. We have six cups in a circle like a big hut. Three cups have water with colours. Red for Marshall, blue for Chase and yellow for Rubble. The other three cups are empty, waiting for a surprise. We've got paper towels connecting the cups like bridges. The water is going to walk across the paper towels to the empty cups. How? That's capillary action. Whoa, water can walk, like me when I'm not tripping over my hose. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Marshall. Capillary action happens because water likes to stick to things, like paper towels. The water climbs up the tiny spaces in the paper towel like it's on a mission. And when the colours meet in the empty cups, they mix to make new colours. Let's guess what colours we'll see. I bet red and blue will make purple. It's like mixing my favourite colours. And yellow and blue make... Um, green. Green, right? Like yummy lime jelly. Dude, what about red and yellow? I think it's orange like my hovercraft. Great guesses, pups. Let's set it up and watch the colours walk. Grown-ups, you can do this at home with cups, water, food colouring and paper towels. Just be careful with the colours because they can stain. Ready, pups? Look, the colours are starting to walk. Chase, your blue is climbing like a superhero. Ruff, that's my blue saving the day. Hey, my red's moving too. But uh, is it supposed to look like it's racing blue? <laughs> Check out the empty cups. The colours are meeting. Red and blue are mixing. Is it purple yet? Let's keep watching. The water pulls the colours along the paper towel because of capillary action. It's like the paper towel is thirsty. See how the colours mix in the empty cups? That's how we get new colours like purple, green and orange. Hey Rubble, you're yellow and Chase is blue are meeting. Is that green yet? Ooh, it's getting green like guacamole. Can we eat it, Sky? No eating the experiment, Rubble. These colours are just for looking, not for tasting. Safety first, pups. Dude, orange is totally winning. It's like a sunset party in that cup. It's so fun to watch. Let's wait a bit more and see the final colours. Red and blue made purple, just like Ryder guessed. 
It's like my red and blue matched with a splash of magic. Blue and yellow made green, Rubble. That's my colour. Hi, poor. Red and yellow made orange, just like my hovercraft. Totally radical. Great job pups! Capillary action helped the water to walk and mix the colours. Isn't science awesome? You can try this at home with a grown up. Just ask them to help with the food colouring. Wait pups, I have one more idea. What happens if we mix all the colours together? Let's find out. Chase is blue. Right is purple. Rocky's green. Rubble's yellow. Marshall's red. And Zuma's orange. Let's mix them all together. Ooh, it's getting swirly. Is it a rainbow? Maybe it's super green. Uh, wait, it's looking a little different. Look, it turns brown. When you mix all the colors, they make a muddy brown. It's not a rainbow, but it's still cool. That's what happens when every colour teams up. Brown? Like chocolatey syrup? Can we eat it? <laughs> <laughs> no eating rubble. It's just for looking. Science is so fun, right? Wait, Sky. I didn't want you to miss out, so I got you some pink. Shall we see what happens when we mix pink with yellow? Ah, thanks Rocky. You're such a good friend. Let's see what happens. Let's add a little pink. Wow, that looks cool. And yellow. Let's stir them together and see what we get. Wow, it's made dark orange. Look at that. It's nearly red. Thanks for joining our colour walking adventure, friends. What did we learn? Capillary action makes water climb and colours mix to make new ones. Plus, we had fun. Right, pups? Super fun, even if I almost knocked over all the cups. <laughs> Let's do another experiment soon, Ruff. What's your favourite colour, dudes? Tell us in the comments. And remember, whenever you want to experiment with colours, just yelp for help. <laughs>